Now it's important to remember this, my loves. Frequency is not vibrational. Again, I repeat, frequency is not vibrational. However, vibrations are included within frequency. Now, I wanna give you an example. 95 is a very interesting one. When we talk about the number of compassion and love, and it's a very high vibrational number, the ability to let go, the art of letting go, the ability to embrace newness and embrace change and shift trajectory with ease requires skill, requires mastery of attachment and mastery of detachment. Now, with that being said, 95 is a number that represents that energetic state pulling in discomfort because that's what five represents internal or external discomfort restriction of thought or circumstance how you respond to that energy um, is going to determine whether we're talking about 32 or 23 right whether we're talking about good karma or negative karma it doesn't exempt you from the discomfort or the frustration of it all but the outcome is determined by how you react to the energy so when we talk about 95 um, it's not that your vibrational state is what's pulling in that five energy because you're in a high vibrational state. Let's say you are exuding joy and gratitude and love and compassion and you are just exuding light, but you pull in this five. When you understand frequency as a relational opportunity toward an experience, life can be much easier to navigate and my loves as you continue to ascend as you continue to self master as you continue to grow okay every moment start looking at every experience good or bad as an opportunity for growth if you can continue to do that and you can continue to stop for a moment and react with intention or act with intention it's all going to help you in the long run energetically when you want to talk about expanding, when you want to talk about growing, when you want to talk about elevating spiritually, it is moment by moment. It is energetic exchange by energetic exchange, which is also what nine and five totals 14. The number of a being navigating the realm of energetic exchanges and karmic matters, right? And gaining awareness relative to those moments. So in closing... Understand and remember that frequency and vibration are two separate concepts. They correlate, but they're two very different concepts. So don't always assume that your vibrational state is what's pulling in difficult frequencies. Frequencies can come from a variety of sources. And when you understand concepts like locational numerology and numbers that are placed around you actually holding energetic value and power and influence, you can start understanding how to jump rope how to navigate, how to react. Hone thyself doing inner work. Hone thyself, become enlightened, gain full self-awareness, and you can masterfully ascend, descend, navigate through frequencies. And numerology is the best way to do that. Stay tuned for my book coming next month.